Hello and welcome everyone to another episode. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're kind of like, hey, that looks awfully a lot like Duna. Are you at Duna? Well, yes, I can assure you, I am definitely at Duna. Um, yeah, this was more of just like a test mission, I guess. And I just wanted to see if I could get there. Now, I'm not going to change all my efforts that I talked about the Minmus station and all that stuff over to, you know, sending things to Duna. I just wanted to have a little bit of a breakout with it, and I wanted to see if I could get here. So, I made it with the same rocket that I show you guys how to build, and I did not actually change very much. I mean, I, I took away the RCS fuel. You don't really need that. Um, you know, and I basically just kind of slapped this on top of um, you know, like the, the third stage, I guess it would be for that rocket. Uh, and it made it all the way here without a problem. Uh, the only thing I had to do was do, uh, aero braking through the atmosphere, uh, which is like incredibly slow, by the way. I did not actually know that it takes that long, but, um, yeah, I got this thing down. Uh, it wasn't such of a bad landing I, I I believe it was like around 12 meters a second I just was using a parachute these engines were out of fuel so uh, you know I couldn't really do much about that but yeah I'm in Duna this is the first time really that I've been to Duna to be honest because I launched once before and I kind of just crashed into the planet going like an insane amount of speed because I didn't really put any uh, parachutes on my craft beforehand. I have not had a manned mission though, so this is always a good thing. Always good, good things. Uh, you know, I, I'm like more towards the polar region of Duna, and uh, I, I just kind of was. I wasn't really aiming to land anywhere, to be honest. You know, like, you know, I, I kind of wasn't really picky about a landing spot. I just wanted to get get this thing landed, basically. It, it worked out pretty well. The You can see I have the um, ASAS module. And uh, I ended up putting it on there that way. And I it worked pretty well, I do say. I, the only thing I... I had a problem with is the rocket seemed to be slightly off-centered at times, but it wasn't, like, bad, so I don't know if that, with this, has anything to do with that or whatever, but, yeah, this thing seems to be, like, moving, too, slightly. I, that's kind of weird. Um, I don't know why it's moving. That, that, that is really weird to me. It just has like a slight wobble on the panels. I don't know why it's doing that. That that kind of startles me. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so I, I'm like I said, I'm not going to change all my efforts and you know stop the min miss base and just start coming straight to here and doing this. I would preferably like to put a. Um, you know, like it may be a uh, space station around Duna. I don't even, I know a lot of people have talked about it, but it's kind of hard to do considering how far you have to go. I might send the exact same thing over to Eve too, just to kind of, you know, get my foot down on Eve. Because I think it's kind of cool where you can just kind of zoom out and you can look at the planet and um, you can see a lot of, you know, you can see like the, uh, the geography of the area that you landed in and then you know next time you come here you can decide that like okay well my probe is right here but I want to land over here where it's flat or I want to land over here or I'm gonna go up in the polar region more where you know it might be flatter up here or whatever it's always kind of a cool thing to do I mean with my moon base you know you guys saw that like if you watched from like the beginning my first moon base was basically where I landed my first uh, rover and it just it kind of all spawned from there I didn't like you know go around and survey and try to find like a really good place because that place was okay where I landed in the first place a lot of parts of the moon are kind of just really flat so it's 
not like a huge deal. There's not very huge inclines, you know, compared to a place like Minmus where, you know, you can be in one spot and another spot and it's like 500, you know, meters higher or something. It's, it's constantly changing terrain. Wow, that's constantly changing terrain right there, too. That was kind of weird. Um, but, yeah, I might launch one to EVE, too. I don't really plan on um, recording them. I didn't want to. It takes so long, and it I don't want to do, like, crazy amounts of video editing and stuff like that just to, uh, you know, show you guys, like, you know, just not like it's going to be huge amounts. I'd basically just fast-forward everything, but... You know, I'd rather just show you these little snippets. It's a wasn't nice with a snippet. Um, so, anyways, guys. Um, Minmus base, probably next episode. I'm not sure. Um, something like that. We'll see. So, thank you for watching. Um, there's always more coming. So, oh wow, that did not sound right. Um, so, subscribe. And uh, I'll see you next time.